Welcome fellow armchair generals and war thunder enthusiasts and we are doing a test sail here of the Torrento. Try and get the main guns over here before they go. Let's let's um turn off the main guns or uh, auxiliary guns and boom. Well are you are you surprised we were able to kill that in one broadside? I'm not. We're going to ignore the guy that's moving around out there because it's going to be too hard to hit. So we're looking at, this is the new Torrento, new top tier Italian naval vessel. I'm really glad to see the Italian Navy come in, mostly because of the three branches of service, the Air, Navy, and Army, the Italian Navy was the best armed services, armed service Italy had during World War II. But, at least best equipped, maybe the best trained, but they were very afraid of losing it, so they didn't actually sort of go out and use it much. Now we're firing the standard high explosive rounds here. Which definitely should be the best for taking out things like destroyers and such. It does have a timed fuse main gun battery. That's something particularly spectacular. Okay, didn't let it by or trailed it not by enough i should say yeah well it's going to come out first as sort of the paid beta thing in the next update so that's unless you want to buy a pack you're going to have to wait or grind for it because you can do the sort of grinding for the star enough stars i don't know what it's going to be but that's how it's been for the other ones so if you really want to do it you can get out there and do the daily. You got to do the daily grind for it and get like 12 testers, stars, or something like that, Harno. And then you can get access to it and start grinding up. Boom. Okay, I'm over on that. Yeah, we're playing with realistic, so. Let's see if we should write about. There. Okay, a little high still, but that's a roughly where I wanted to, to hit. I don't know why I, I I get the trailing thing. I don't get why it's aiming. I have to aim so far freaking low compared to the vessel. There we go. Well, some hits. Okay. Well, I don't know if it's, it's so close. I got to freaking point it at the water here. I do have that ship highlighted. Or if it's just that it's the dev server. I'm not used to playing. Okay, see, so now that's a better hit pattern, but it's not a terribly good. Destructive pattern. Let's circle around here before we go into some islands. Completely lose this. Okay, let's. Okay, you get loaded up. Let's trail to about there. I don't know, it's just my guesstimation. These are better penetrating rounds, so if we hit... Oh, that was, well, good on that a little bit. Okay, well, we're also going to, at this, um, take a look at the bad thing in the Italian Navy, at least bad for everybody else, is this thing. So 3.7. Let's do a test sail. I was looking at this a little earlier. It's another one of these 1970s something hydrofoil boats. 
I'm not saying it's good. I'm just saying it should be like at a 4.7 or something. Now, what good would that be at 4.7? I don't know because it doesn't have any um, missiles on it or, you know, ship-to-ship -ship missiles, and it's probably not that good of a... Okay, come on, come on, yeah, come on. We, we designated this as our target. Yeah, get down on target. Yeah, you can just sort of see here what's this going to be like. I mean, that's wrecking this destroyer here. Lots of explosions. It's on fire in lots of places. Reloading the magazine. Let's come after this guy here a bit closer. Okay, get... Well, don't even need it by that much. There we go. Yeah, one shot, one hit, kills. This thing's going to be another god-awful mess. Fortunately, I guess it's a premium, so, well, all the people buying into it are probably going to get it, but it may not be overwhelming because of that. Okay, going straight and level here. Well, it's not that super fast, at least not right now. Um, again, things are subject to change. So I can get up a little bit faster than this in some of my World War II PT boats, but they don't necessarily have that gun. Notice the nice holes on the side of the hull where the impacts are. So that's doing pretty nice. Okay, yeah, I approve of this as an Italian modern naval vessel, but not as a World War II combatant, so yeah. Yes, an Alto Malara 76 gun, very likely. It's a standard naval um, manufacturer. Yep, no 50s. But with good high explosive rounds or proximity rounds too, man, that would you know, just there's probably an aircraft up here somewhere. Where's an aircraft? Um, oh, radar. We also have radar here. I don't know that it's radar guided, but um, air search radar. That oh, let's where? Okay. Oh, we're in RK or in. That, um, do we have radar locked on this by any chance? Sorry, I don't see the aircraft. I don't. Oh, we're getting told to return to battlefield. Why start me out on a map so close to the edge as it is? for target acquisition. I thought, oh, come on. We're, we should be heading back towards the battlefield already. What are we doing here? Come on. Not letting me... Oh, I'm hitting the wrong keys. That's... Oh, well, if I hit the right keys, it might work. Okay, there's the target. Okay. this does radar lock on the aircraft or not. I 
guess either not or my keys aren't binding or something. But, or it's not working or my keys aren't bound right for naval. Radar locks, I don't know if they're different than ground. But these do have proximity fuses, so if I get close enough, which I guess I'm not, I don't know what it would look like from some other angle. guess that's it. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, make comments, tell me how pathetic things are going. See you next time for more historical gaming.